Hey everyone, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Many of you, if you've watched my videos, know that I like to run Quadrant and SmartBench for benchmark tests when I test phones. But uh, I got talked into using a new benchmark test. It's the N22 benchmark. Now there's a couple of different N22s in the Android market. So be sure you get the one called the N22 benchmark and it'll have this little uh, rabbit face there. So be sure you get the right one. Notice that I've got it here on both displays. So I am going to run the N22 benchmark test on these two phones. On the left, I have the Samsung Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile. I haven't done much videos with the T-Mobile version of the Galaxy S2 by Samsung. So this is uh, really the first video I'm running that's something other than an unboxing. So this will give you some idea of the performance of the Samsung Galaxy S2, the way it's outfitted for T-Mobile. And on the right, I have the brand new Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This runs, of course, on Verizon. Now this is the new phone with Android 4.0. Here we have Android 2.3.5, which is the latest version of Android for this phone. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now I'm going to go ahead and run the benchmark test. And I suggest that if you download the N22 benchmark, that you run it and watch it because there's parts of it that are really interesting to watch. So go ahead, run it and watch it. I'm gonna turn off the camera while the benchmark is running and I'll pick it up at the end and we'll double check the scores between the two phones. So here we go, let's get started. And it'll take a moment before we get to the screen where we can uh, go back, let's run the test. These are from the previous tests I ran. So I'm going to touch the test tab and we're going to run the whole test on both phones. And as I said, I'm going to turn off the camera and we'll pick it up when it's about ready to wrap up. It looks like the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is getting ready to wrap up the N22 benchmark test. And actually the um, the Galaxy S2 here for T-Mobile wrapped up first. Uh, they both came in actually pretty close. I thought this one was going to finish first, but uh, this one finished first. Okay, so here's what we got. This gives you a score, a total score, and here on the Samsung Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile we have 5,952, and on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus we have 6,122. So it looks like there's a relatively small win over here for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now, what I don't know is exactly how the uh, display resolution plays into this benchmark testing. So the uh, Galaxy Nexus has far more pixels on its display. I mean, not just a little, has far more pixels on its 720 by 1280 display than the Samsung Galaxy S has on its 480 by 800. Just so you don't have to take out your calculators, this has more than 921,000 pixels, more than 921,000, and this has 384,000 pixels. So the Galaxy Nexus has two and a half times the number of pixels on the display that the Samsung Galaxy S2 has. So let's compare these. Uh, here's the RAM scores. There's the integer scores. Now it looks over here that the, uh, from an integer calculation standpoint that the Samsung Galaxy S2 does a better job than the Galaxy Nexus does. Let's keep going down. 2D graphics is about the same. The 3D graphics is roughly the same. Slight advantage over here. Uh, the database. Now, a very interesting thing here, notice that there's a test for the SD card write and read. Of course, the Galaxy Nexus doesn't has, have an SD card. It has only internal storage. There is no SD card slot, no expansion memory slot in the Galaxy Nexus. There is over here in the Samsung Galaxy S2. So I'm not exactly sure what that part of the test is testing. However, the scores over here on the Samsung Galaxy S2 are a little higher than they are on the Nexus. So we'll look down. This has a higher CPU frequency. Of course they have different CPUs so the frequency is not enough all by itself to tell you exactly what the performance is going to be like. Okay, very interesting tests. Anyway, I wanted you to see what the scores were 
for the Samsung Galaxy S2 on the left and the Samsung Nexus uh, Galaxy Nexus on the right. Uh, very interesting scores. I'm not exactly 100% about what they mean, but the bottom line is that the Galaxy Nexus got a somewhat higher score, not an outstandingly higher score, but a somewhat higher score than the Samsung Galaxy S2. And by the way, don't forget that we are running a terrific sweepstakes right now on Facebook. So it's Wirefly's Winter Wonderland sweepstakes. The last day of the sweepstakes is December 23rd, which is this Friday at 3 p.m. is when the sweepstakes will end and the winner will be announced that day. So be sure you get over there and sign up for Wirefly's Winter Wonderland sweepstakes on Facebook. And hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.